Yo, welcome back to another video guys. Today I'm ranking the biggest Beyblade YouTubers. This is gonna be one banger of a video from Zanky to Beyblade Geeks left first and more. You are going to want to see this one. Before we start though, here's a bunch of underrated channels. I didn't really have time to fit into this video, but you should check these guys out. They have really cool videos. So anyways, left first, the most interesting Beyblade content on YouTube, period. His channel is genuine fun from the beginning. This channel was just two best friends having real fun together. His channel is filled to the brim with innovative ideas. He's always thinking up new fun ideas for these videos, crazy things. I'm placing left first in S. I truly believe that his channel is the best in the scene right now, but I'm coming for you, buddy. On to the Baytective. Extremely well-made visual and audio ASMR videos. I have a feeling that he has previous video experience. He has a fairly high quality camera and good angles for these battles. Plus he uploads them in 4K. But I think that any channel that focuses on shorts is going to be a bit limited. I'm looking forward to what he manufactures when he switches to full videos. I think it's going to be really interesting. For now I'm going to place him into B tier. Onto the myth. The man, the legend, Nightwing, Beyblade, or Burst. His channel focuses a lot on tournaments and they are awesome. I wish I could go to one someday. He has a very fun personality and high quality production. Previous YouTube experience with this guy for sure. I think his focus is a bit spread out at the moment. I'm waiting to see big things from him though. All right, Drago Galaxy. If you want to watch a lot of good Beyblade battle content, go here. However, he needs to invest into upgrading his camera to be on par with other big channels. I would also suggest hiring an editor to really step up his content. This channel is a prime example of YouTube rewarding quantity over quality. There's a simplistic joy to battle videos. However, Drago doesn't do anything extraordinary. I respect his grind, but I have to place him into B. Now on to the Beyblade Geeks. They have consistent high quality content with great editing skills and presentation, family friendly news and battle videos which are incredibly easy to digest. However, I believe they shape their opinions around Hasbro's guidelines. They overhype Hasbro releases. I'm placing the Beyblade Geeks in A tier. I think that they could produce better videos outside the restraints of sponsorship contracts. Beyblade Dad, the slow-mo Beyblade guy, the fun anime theory guy. He films these amazing shorts with this high quality slow-mo camera that he paid a lot of money for, <laughs> to be honest. And these are super fun to watch with some crazy twists. Just all of his content has like some interesting twist of his own style and I like that. I think he's still learning YouTube just like me. I'm waiting to see where he settles. I'm going to put him into B tier right now, but I know he's going to get up to A tier and then who knows. Okie dokie on to Illinuk. Very well spoken and a master of video production as a solo producer. I think he can make videos on any Beyblade topics and do them quite well. However, I think Jake has a lot of potential that he's wasting. If you've seen his serial ads, they are very entertaining. If he poured that creativity into his main content alongside some new ideas, certainly S tier, but for now, I'm putting him into A. Cypress, 90% of his views are from QR codes. Hasbro partners get them early. You ever wonder why his videos are watermarked? All of the QR code views go to him. I don't know if he copyright strikes kids for uploading these codes, but that's a pretty big reason why you would use watermarks. Speaking two languages in a video makes each part of the video suffer. Don't do this, use subtitles, C tier. I don't think he's doing anything interesting. He's just farming QR code views, meh. Super Beyblade family. If you want an over the top personality for entertainment, go here. But I don't think his equipment or his studio is that good for the size of his channel. He could definitely upgrade a lot of things. So he screams the same words every video. My dudes, dudes, dude. I think you need to be a little more creative with your commentary. He seems like a super nice guy, but the content feels forced and stale, which works if your audience is children, they can't tell the difference. But for like people who actually know what good content is, ah, uh, I don't like it. I don't care for it. B tier. And honestly, I would place him lower if he wasn't so big and so consistent with his videos. Kimbo's level of passion and dedication to Beyblade is simply unmatched. His love 
for the sport is authentic to his core. You can tell this in his commentary. I think he suffers from oversaturation. I believe he uploads too much and spreads his talents too thin. B tier, but I know he can do a lot better. Okay, on to Zanki. This is going to be a hot one. Zanki is a lot of kids' favorite Baytuber for many reasons. They've known him for a long time. He does make decent videos. I enjoy when he is more creative with his videos, like his Double Decker Stadium video, where he had some nice camera angles and he made that whole contraption with his dad. That was a fun video. He covers news very quickly and in a decent manner, but I feel his channel lacks proper direction. I would suggest hiring a professional to really amp up his videos to the next level. I think his dad is currently in charge and it's kind of limiting his channel. I respect him for giving his honest opinion on Hasbro Beyblade quality going downhill. In doing this, Hasbro cut ties with him. It was a solid integrity move. On to the negatives with Zanki. He's blocked and copyright striked a lot of people for little to no reason. Other times rightfully so, but I have friends who have been subject to this. I myself have been copyright striked by Zenki for a QR code image off the Wikipedia. Isn't that fun? So the thing with Zenki is he grew up on YouTube making content. I can't imagine myself in this situation. I have been supremely cringe in my past, we all have. To have a large part of your life televised for a toy channel and to have to deal with constant troll comments every day and thinking about Beyblade content every day of your life, bruh, my brain would melt. Massive respect to long time grinders. I'm going to place Zangi into A tier if he took my advice and brought in some professionals. Uh, he could certainly do a lot better. Peter Pig picked up Piper Pickled Peppers. He does a lot of things in his own unique style and that my friends is what makes for good videos. I have nothing bad to say about him. I'm putting him into A. Ramp Hobbies. Ramp has the best laugh in the Baytuber scene and it is truly contagious every time I hear it. The variety of his content and his fun ideas and gimmicks. I'm going to put him into A tier. Jojo at her peak. The content was family friendly with decent commentary nothing really amazing just consistent coverage which uh, there's nothing wrong with that but she retired and that is cringe so f tier <laughs> the goobster lots of genuine videos this guy is the real guy at his best his beyblade videos are some of the most fun on the platform i will say that his uploads are few and far between but life gets busy a tier family friendly battles and unboxings they feel a popular demand very well although content becomes limited when you do this feeling a little bit commercial like b tier i have a lot to learn about entertainment and making videos i'm inconsistent and still finding my style the effort that i put into videos ranges dramatically i'm not sure what i do well but we'll find out together. It's easy to critique content, but it's another thing entirely to make it. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.